Thank you very much. Um, so once again, my name is Derek Malmgren, and I'm with uh, Heartland Payroll and Human Resources. Um, just to kind of give you a, a brief history of myself, I'm a Colorado native. Um, I was born and raised in Colorado Springs, and um, I um, you know, went through high school. After high school, I, uh, I played a couple years of junior hockey, and then um, went up to uh, the Vancouver area and played a, a couple years of semi-professional hockey um, before realizing that I, I wasn't very special in Canada. Um, so <laughs> that led me back to uh, the University of Colorado, where um, where I played uh, club hockey, and and for the first time, you know, played hockey without uh, without a goal of um, you know having a future income on it. Um, you know, I had some injuries that I needed to have taken care of, and um, it was uh, it was really great um, until I failed out of uh, the University of Colorado. Um, I was working, I was playing hockey, and um, the only thing that you don't get. Um, reamed out for, not showing up for, is school. So um, so I, uh, I I took a sabbatical, if you will, and, and I moved up to Aspen and caddied at a golf course that was um, could be considered one of the highlights of my life. I, um, I caddied for um, you know Jack Nicholson for a month straight on a daily basis, uh, Michael Douglas. Um, I, I would have had Bill Clinton, but um, a Bosnian war came up a couple days before he was supposed to come, and thankfully he didn't play golf. Um, the outbreak of the war. So um, it was it was amazing. I came back to see you. Um, I was working landscaping. I went to night school for three years at CU um, and realized that um, you know when my focus wasn't strictly on athletics, I actually was semi-intelligent, um, which was really exciting and, and really gave me the belief that anybody can do anything that they want to do because I was never um, very good at school. Um, after graduating, I opened up um, my own landscape uh, construction company in Boulder. Um, it's a great use of a degree, and everybody was super happy that um, you know that I took this pre-law route to open a small business. Um, it was amazing. We 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 were successful um, even during a recession. Um, but I learned so many valuable attributes about running a business, owning a business. Um, it was all referral based, which in the end was um, a liability. Um, when I went to sell my company because everybody knew um, my name and didn't even necessarily know the name of my company, which was um, really interesting. Part of my issue was I didn't have an exit strategy um, at any point because I loved it. I thought I would do it forever. And then when I had my first child, six months after he was born, I realized I might never see him again. And um, I lost my motivation to have my own business. I did not have processes set up that were um, repeatable by other people. I micromanaged everything, and I, I quickly realized that my, my business could not function without me, and uh, my dreams of selling it without having maintenance contracts, without having to book a book of reoccurring business, um, really became difficult. So um, I, was, um, I had started outsourcing my payroll with, with another company um, towards the end of my business. I had made numerous errors in human resources, in payroll, in billing. I realized um, that you should not wear every hat. You should have you know, the experts um, you know, take the tasks that you can give away. Um, you know, be willing to let other people um, you know, take those. The professionals take those. The people that can do better. Oftentimes, I didn't even know what the cost of that would be. And once I kind of opened my ears, I realized you know, there's a lot of things that I can take out of my day-to-day -day operations that people could be doing better, and I can focus on billing. <laughs> you know, that's that was always the second to last thing that happened, and that's you know something that will really hurt your business um, if you're not you know billing people because it may be you know still net 90 before you get paid. So, um, in the process of outsourcing my payroll, I I, I eventually um, got to know one of the homeowners that I was working for worked for that company, and I went in and worked for that company for three years. Um, before re being recruited over by Heartland um, about 16 months ago. Um, I had no intention of leaving my other company until um, Heartland showed me their systems and processes, and I realized how much of a better fit it would be for small businesses, especially in the human resource realm. Um, some things that Heartland has done to actively promote businesses, protecting their business, protecting their liabilities, their employees, was immediately take away um, the setup fees for HR systems. Um, typically, if you speak with our competitors, you might be looking at $1,500 to $3,000 setup fee. It's laughable. Um, nobody is gonna pay $3,000 um, to initiate a process that they've never even experienced for a day. 
So um, Heartland has broken down that barrier immediately and taken away the setup fees um, for any of the, the HR services. So what that enables businesses to do is, um, is have a system in place, have HR advisors that you can reach out to at any point to get um, recommendations, to get what regulations are. If you have a separation of an employee at the end of the day, it's a big deal. Um, the best case scenario is maybe your unemployment rate goes up um, or you don't get an unemployment claim. Um, the worst case scenario is your unemployment rate goes up, it affects every one of your employees. For every unemployment claim that, that you have, um, it could raise your percentage and if your percentage goes up by 1%, it's $115 per employee per year. So if you have 10 employees, you know, that, that employee that left and filed a claim could cost your business you know, $1,200, $1,300. Um, and a lot of times businesses just don't know how to handle those. So we want to be your resource to reach out to us to say, we're having a separation with an employee. Um, what are the best processes for ensuring that we have adequate protections? But not only that, but also making a better environment for employees so that you can get the maximum um, production, um, so that you can keep your um, morale intact, so you can keep you know, a business, especially a small business that may almost be family, um, really in, um, in, in a smooth state that helps grow your business. So um, we can do everything from uh, creating employee handbooks. Um, we have uh, an HRIS system that has um, literally thousands of, of forms, letters, templates, whatever you need. That's great. You can find forms, templates, letters, whatever you need online. Um, what we believe is that if those aren't customized to your exact situation, they could be more of a liability in a court proceeding and an unemployment claim than, um, than having nothing at all. Um, wording is everything. In HR, everything is, um, is very gray. And your intention is to move into black and white. And the way you do that is through the expectation of your employees and the documentation of the business. And with those couple simple steps, you can really protect your business. Um, and make sure that, um, that you're getting the best from your employees and, and protecting the business at the same time. So um, to give you a little background on Heartland, I had intended on showing you some of the systems, but I know I'm going to run out of time. So um, Heartland um, is possibly a company that you've never heard of, um, and that is by design. Um, we do not spend much money in advertising whatsoever. We have 500,000 business clients, um, and yet you've barely heard of us. We, if we're going to put any, any money into anything, we put it into trade organizations. Um, you know, we want to help the National Restaurant Association educate their association members or the National Tooling and Machining Association. We have 250 trade organization partnerships. Um, and what we do is we help um, lobby for their interests. We help educate them. We help ensure that there is transparent and honest pricing and contracts and um, you know especially we're primarily known for merchant services um, we work with one in four restaurants in the United States but we really um, we came up with the Merchant Bill of Rights we really believe that there needs to be honesty in small business and that's what we actively promote so um, it's uh, it's really a good company to work for I've loved working here um, with the payroll, you have a dedicated client specialist, so somebody that really gets to know your situation. Um, that's great if you can get a hold of them. Um, we have a, a two-hour callback guarantee, so if you can't immediately get a hold of your client specialist, your next payroll's free. So you know, we want to put a consequence to bad customer service, so in the event that that does happen, um, which it doesn't, um, we want to ensure that there's a repercussion um, to ourselves because we feel that a lot of our competitors have really expanded their service offerings and really lost focus on you know payroll and what they had started their business to help small businesses with. Um, we do credit card processing and HR and payroll. They're two separate divisions. We don't do 401k, we don't do um, investments, we don't do insurance, health insurance, property casualty, workers comp. We work with who you want to work with. So for instance, with Dave, we can set up a workers' comp pay-as-you-go system um, that's integrated with payroll. Dave keeps the broker of record for your business. Unlike paychecks and ADP, we do not take the business away from him. 
We just help facilitate the administration, the movement of data, the movement of money, um, and we don't charge you for that service that our competitors are charging you for, even though it's within their own agency. So um, the same holds true for 401ks. We can move money, we can move data. Um, you are not under our financial umbrella, you're under um, working, with, working with Dan. So you know, we really want to play friendly with the other industries that are payroll related um, because we feel that it is best to work with really true professionals in the industry and with uh, some of our competitors we've seen um, really successful salespeople that move into these various industries and don't know as much about you know, the, the offerings that they're selling. They know how to sell it, but maybe not how to service it. Um, even our pay structure is radically different. Um, in the industry, it's very rare to have a residual income. Um, that is exactly what I have. Um, Heartland wants to ensure that when I set up a business, um, that I'm available to that business moving forward. So every single month I get paid um, to retain that client. Um, our competitors get paid for uh, retaining a client for 90 days. We do not do introductory pricing. We don't do special promotions. We do guaranteed fair pricing so that you know that you're not going to get a 90-day promotion that basically covers you know, what my pay would entail. So it's, um, it's really a unique system. We have um, seven or eight um, individuals in our company that are on the sales side that make more than the CEO of our company. And it's designed that way because we really believe that having successful employees makes for a successful company. And um, in the interest of full disclosure, um, in 2008, we had a security breach on our merchant service side. Um, at that point, it was the largest security breach in American history. Um, it cost us to the tune of $150 million. Um, everybody expected our business to go out of business. Um, the exact opposite happened. We learned from our mistake. We adopted end-to-end -end encryption. We were the first company in the United States to do that. Um, some of the breaches you've recently heard about with Target and Home Depot still do not have end-to-end -end encryption eight years after we adopted it. So we really believe in the security aspect. We give breach warranty. Um, you know, we, we made the mistake eight years ago. Um, it was a very sophisticated system, but we have learned um, and taken, you know, taken the route that other companies still are trying to adopt eight years later. And it's, um, it's really amazing whether it's you know, the end-to-end -end encryption, the EMV, whatever the technology is, we just really believe that, um, that in the interest of small business, it's best to keep them protected. Um, in the realm of, of the HR, like I said, you have an HR advisor on demand. So you can reach out to them at any point for any issue. Um, kind of in the system here, I can even show you. Um, you know, basically you have multiple ways. This would all be customized to your company. You can send an email, you can reach out to them for anything in particular. So let's say even if you, um, if you need a job offer letter, but you want it to be very specific, we create that for you at no additional cost. Typically, um, I am able to get an HR package into um, even the pricing of our competitors payroll only. So even for a, a one, two person company, a complete HR package that covers you know, everything you would need um, could even be as low as $75 a pay period, depending on how frequently you pay. Um, and oftentimes that could be even less than you pay just to have your payroll done by, by our competitors. So it's, um, it's truly remarkable at some point when I have another opportunity, I'll show you the system because um, we are a technology company and what we want to do is enable you to access whatever you need whenever you need it. So.